What's going on, everyone? It's your favorite Jealous Hater Apoc, and welcome to the most positive and uplifting channel on the platform. So today's video is going to be a little bit different. Usually my content is based around calling out other YouTubers, exposing their lies, manipulation, and all that noise, but I guess today we're going to be talking about a cartoon character. Anyways, there's this show called Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Don't really think I need to explain much. Pretty sure you all are aware of what the show is and what it's about. But there was something on this show that caught my little eye. And don't worry, it's not about symbolisms or any of that. We're not doing that today. We're not diving that deep. I'm legitimately calling out Mickey, Minnie, Donald, Daisy, Goofy, and Pluto's ass too. All these goons have no self-awareness whatsoever. Okay, let's get to the shit show. So before we begin, let's set the premise. There's an episode called Mickey's Treat, which doesn't really make any sense if you watch it. It's more like Pete's Treat, but I guess that's what you get for being a side gag character instead of the main. Anyway, Pete's throwing a Halloween party, right? Even though he does it every year, nobody shows up because he's a loser. But Mickey and friends get invited and they actually decide to go. And this is where it gets rich this is where no having self-awareness starts to kick in there's literally only like eight of them that live in that world so you do the math and tell me who's not going to pete's party oh boy it's an invitation to a halloween party at trick-or-treat tower i wonder who it's from so let's get one thing straight here trick-or-treat tower is pete's tower he owns it it's his building and mickey knows this he states it later on so he should know exactly who's trying to invite him mind you pete is the only one who sends out invites to a Halloween party every year. So, uh, yeah. Everyone's invited to my big Halloween party, and of course, nobody ever comes to my party, so why do I even bother? Like I said, there's only like eight of them, and everyone else is choosing to ignore Pete, and they've been doing that shit for years. This is nothing new. Aw, poor Pete. Nobody ever goes to his parties. Bro, I'm so f***ing dead. Mickey, you're the one not going to his damn parties. You're choosing not to go. So why are you feeling bad for Pete for people not going? What the hell are you talking about? Well, I know. We can all go to Pete's party. Think that'll make him happy? Well, yeah, he sounds super depressed. And now you want to go? What changed? What the hell stopped you before? You really didn't seem to care all that much until now. So what the hell happened? These little kid shows are hella confusing. Now we're all ready to go to the Halloween party. Wait, wait a minute. Where is the Halloween party? They literally have a location called Trick your treat tower i wonder where the f the halloween party is gonna be i know most of goofy's screws are loose but there's just no damn way he's that dumb why is it it's trick-or-treat tower <laughs> Why is that, Donald? Don't like cats? Racist. That's not nice, Donald. If we don't go, we'll hurt Pete's feelings. Dude, is she serious? Y'all been on a good one for years not going to his parties. There's only a selective group of you, and you're all friends apparently, yet you never go to his parties. He's sad because of you guys. So why are you caring now if he's sad or not? You know what's not nice? Acting like you didn't do anything at all. Let's all go, Donald. Damn it, was that easy to convince Donald to go? If that's the case, what stopped him before? Come on, let's go up to the telescope and look for Pete's trick-or-treat tower. Bro, they can't even keep track of their friend or where he throws his parties every single year. It's literally called trick-or-treat tower. Uh, tutor tweet, uh, uh, tricky tick, uh, sticky sweet. Jesus, get it out already. The trick-or-treat tower is all the way past the candy corn patch. And the wood. Okay, now I kind of understand why they never went to his damn parties before. Too much damn cardio. Going to Pete's party. Tonight too has some fun. Trick or treat tower. Here we come. Oh no, there's a big black cat across our path. This is just so ridiculous. That's literally Pete. That is him. You know the guy she apparently felt bad for for not going to his party. Didn't want him to feel sad. That guy, she doesn't even know who he is. So they don't know where his parties are. They don't know he throws parties every year, apparently. And with Minnie's body shaming comment, she doesn't even know what he looks like. No wonder he's depressed. Ooh, what's with the fancy costumes? There's no way he just and said that. Pete, you are literally throwing a Halloween party and people show up at your front door in Halloween costumes. What the f do you think they're there for? We're here for your Halloween party. What? 
you're here for my party. Imagine being so traumatized by your friends from never showing up to any of your parties or get togethers that when they finally arrive in all the costumes and Halloween gear that you can't even comprehend that's what they're there for. Bruh. Somebody actually showed up. Honestly, I'd be so pissed at all of them for never coming to my party and now all of a sudden they give a damn. I'd be calling their shit out. Well, <laughs> you have to pay to come in. <laughs> Yo, my boy Pete has no chill. Okay, now it's even more understandable why they never went. This boy's out here going, there's a toll in the hallway. But can you really blame him, folks? These creatures never hung out with him before. Many apparently didn't even know who the hell he was. He probably just wanted some damn compensation for fronting the Halloween bill every year, while no one else even gave a damn. Okay, Pete, how much? Well, let's see. He looks like a YouTuber about to scam his audience. Have fun at the party. Wish I could go to the party. What the hell did he just say? Pete, my dude, it's your party. What the hell are you talking about? I'm Brian Brian Boy, and it's gonna be fun. Notice how every single one of these assholes ran right past Pete when he's feeling all down. None of them care about him whatsoever. They said, Kim, I'm gonna go to the punch bowl. Imagine having a group of friends that constantly ignore you, who never show up to anything you do or put together. And when they finally show up, they disregard you and your feelings right to your face. Now that's what I call a friendship. Well, well, why aren't you coming to your own party, Pete? Now that's a great question. I didn't think anybody would come. I don't have a costume. So let me get this straight here, Pete. You know for a fact that your friends never show up to your parties, but you throw one anyways, yet you didn't have a costume on standby. Cool. I've got an idea. We can all give Pete a piece of our costumes. Look at me! That's it. I'm done. Anyways, all you jealous haters, that's about it. I also did realize a very big detail here towards the end of this video. Remember earlier when Goofy questioned where the party was going to be? That implies that he never got an invite, nor did the others because they all acted surprised about the party in general. So it was only Mickey that got an invite. So either they all just don't give a damn about Pete, or he may be playing the victim card. But let me know your thoughts down below. Would you guys still be friends with people like this who treat you like that? Or do you think Pete's being a little dramatic? Either way, this video was just a goof. Just trying to switch it up a little get in a few laughs and some things that don't really matter in the end sub to the channel if you're new like if you enjoyed i'll catch you guys later bye